Today's video is an in-brief diagnostic process on a 2010 Chevy Traverse that will not start intermittently. Uh, in fact, this vehicle was driven to the shop, parked out front for a short time, and then failed to start. After the vehicle was pushed into the shop, a basic health check was performed, including general maintenance, upkeep, fluid levels and conditions, etc., which I have not included in this video. So, I attempted to start the vehicle, and let's define this particular no start as a no crank, no start. In other words, the starter is not even attempting to turn over the engine. Some people might perceive this as a dead battery, but a quick visual indicator to me that the battery is okay were the headlights and the interior lights are all at full brightness, so this has to be something else. I also noticed there was no gear indicator, so the no crank situation makes sense. The starter will not be allowed to operate if the vehicle cannot sense that it is in park or neutral. Next, I connected the scan tool and I did a vehicle-wide sc code scan. During this point of the diag, we're gathering information and not doing any intrusive testing. What stuck out to me immediately as the source of our no start is that the engine control module and the transmission control module are not communicating with the scan tool. There were several codes stored in multiple modules, but the only thing that matters to me is that most of them are communicating and most of the codes point towards a loss of communication with these two mission critical modules. The next step from here is to consult the wiring diagrams for both the ECM and TCM. I noticed they both receive an ignition power feed from the ignition main relay and both receive common ground at G110. I skimmed the high-speed GM LAN diagram, but I felt the problem lies elsewhere due to the fact most of the other modules are still communicating. During that health check earlier, I immediately noticed the engine has had some sort of recent major work done, so I'm thinking I need to go check out that G110 ground. I found G110 is in a hard to access spot, but it's, it is attached and it is good and tight. So I thought, okay, another quick check is going to be check for power being fed to the associated fuses by that ignition main relay. But before I do that, I'm going to go make sure this isn't a power moding problem. The BCM or the body control module is the power mode master for all the other modules on this vehicle. So I need to make sure that the BCM sees the ignition key data properly. And after a quick check with the scan tool, everything looks okay there. Moving on to the fuse panel where the ignition main relay is located, I notice a problem right away. With the key in the on position, there's a buzzing noise coming from the fuse panel and it sounds like a relay fluttering on and off. I checked for power at the fuses downstream of the ignition main relay with a test light, which confirmed my suspicion that that is where the noise is coming from. I checked and load tested and power, the power feeds into the ignition main relay, which turned out to be okay. And then I load tested and confirmed this is definitely a ground problem on the control side of that relay. As you can see, the test light will light dimly, but the headlamp bulb will not light at all due to the circuit not being able to carry the load. Uh, I'd also like to note that I'm only touching the test probes to the fuse panel terminals lightly and momentarily. You don't ever want to jam anything except for the proper test lead if you have it into that terminal. Moving on. At this point, I've gathered enough information to determine I need to do some intrusive testing which may involve a lot of gaining time gaining access to modules and connectors. Unfortunately, the ground circuit information for the relay was m missing from that power distribution diagram I consulted earlier, and I had to check another information source, or I could have saved some time because once I found that missing piece of information, I was surprised to find an old friend. Hmm, looks like our old friend G110 needs a much closer look. Uh, eventually, I did find the missing piece of information on the ground distribution diagram for G110, but I don't know how else you would have been led to that information otherwise. Uh, G110 happens to be in a really tight spot and hard to access. I had trouble removing, inspecting, and cleaning the metal surfaces. 
but after the effort, the test light now lights brightly, communication is restored, and the engine now starts and runs. Thanks for watching.